Hi again, I'm meteorologist Jay Bershback. This is Sloan Eberly. We're at the Imagination Station, and this is Imagine It. Today we're talking about optical phenomena and how your brain and eyes sometimes might not totally meet in the middle, huh? Exactly. Our distorted gravity room is at a 25 degree angle, and the objects inside the room are also at an angle. So your brain's receiving all these different cues about what's going on and how to orient itself. And when it gets all those confusing messages, sometimes you get not so good of a feeling in your belly. So now that we know what the illusion is, we're gonna actually go inside and experience it for ourselves and let you see as well. So let's go, here we go. And Jay, here at the Imagination Station, we love to say this is the only house you have to walk into backwards. Ah, backwards. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Feels like you're being propelled forward into the wall. It's quite hard to keep your balance. It does. Uh, breakfast wouldn't go too well on this table here. Now Jay, see those balls over there? See if you can move them back and forth and, and what happens, the green ball. All right, downhill. Appears to be downhill. Ah. But it's usually the other direction is downhill. Pretty cool. Do that again. <laughs> One kind of fun thing. There we go. Schwarzenegger like strength. <laughs> easy, nice. Easy Very nice. I'll, I'll let you do that. Yeah, that's, that's probably all I have. <laughs> it is a real weird feeling. It is. Isn't it's it? a like a, a consistent spinning downhill yeah. almost. Yeah. Very <laughs> neat. Very neat. Very <laughs> neat. All right, let's go to the exit. Here we all come. Right. Wow, that is really cool. It's so weird how your brain doesn't uh, doesn't react to what your eyes are seeing. Yes. So one more step here. Yep. And then we're down. Well, that was the, what was it again? The distorted gravity room. Distorted gravity room, and it was really a neat experience how it plays with your mind. For Sloan Eberly, I'm meteorologist Jay Burschback. This was Imagine It.